If your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch freezes on the Apple logo during startup, here's what to do. We'll show you how to force restart your device first, and then if you still need help, how to enter recovery mode. Before you start, make sure you have access to a Mac or Windows computer and a compatible cable. If you don't have a computer, you can borrow one from a friend. Your device will need to be turned on and you should also charge it for up to an hour beforehand. First, we'll try force restarting. This process won't erase the content on your device. If you have an iPhone 10 or later, a second generation iPhone SE, an iPhone 8, or an iPhone 8 Plus, press and quickly release the volume up button. Then press and quickly release the volume down button. Then press and hold the side button until your iPhone restarts. Your screen should go black, and then the Apple logo will appear. On an iPad with Face ID, press and quickly release the volume up button. Then press and quickly release the volume down button. Then press and hold the top button until your iPad restarts. Your screen should go black, and then the Apple logo will appear. If you have an iPhone 7, iPhone 7 Plus, or a 7th generation iPod Touch, press and hold both the top or side button and the volume down button until your device restarts. Your screen should go black, and then the Apple logo will appear. If you have an iPad with a home button, iPhone 6s or earlier, or a 6th generation iPod Touch or earlier, press and hold both the home button and the top or side button until your device restarts. Your screen should go black, and then the Apple logo will appear. If your device is still frozen, here's how to enter recovery mode. First, connect your device to a computer. If you're using Mac OS Catalina or later, open the Finder. If you're using Mac OS Mojave or earlier, or you're on a Windows computer, you'll use the latest version of iTunes. Keeping your device connected, follow these steps to enter recovery mode. If you have an iPhone 10 or later, a second generation iPhone SE, iPhone 8, or iPhone 8 Plus, press and quickly release the volume up button. Then press and quickly release the volume down button. Then press and hold the side button until you see the recovery mode screen. This may take a moment or two. On an iPad with Face ID, press and quickly release the volume up button. Then press and quickly release the volume down button. Then press and hold the top button until you see the recovery mode screen. This may take a moment or two. On an iPhone 7, iPhone 7 Plus, or a 7th generation iPod Touch, press and hold the side or top button and the volume down button at the same time. Keep holding the buttons until you see the recovery mode screen. This may take a moment or two. If you have an iPad with a home button, iPhone 6s or earlier, or a 6th generation iPod Touch or earlier, press and hold the side or top button and the home button at the same time. Keep holding the buttons until you see the recovery mode screen. This may take a moment or two. On your computer, you should see the option to update your device. Click Update, and the Finder or iTunes will download and install the latest version of iOS or iPadOS on your device. Just follow the prompts and be sure not to disconnect your device while you see the Apple logo and progress bar on the screen. If the update fails, you'll be prompted to restore your device. It will restore to factory settings, and you will need a backup to recover any data. If the download takes longer than 15 minutes, your device will exit recovery mode. To re-enter recovery mode, you'll need to repeat the button presses described in the previous section. After the update is completed, your device should restart and you should see your lock screen. If you still need help, contact Apple Support to speak with an advisor. To learn more about your devices, subscribe to the Apple Support channel or click another video to keep watching.